All right, Miss Michigan is heading to the Miss USA competition. That's right, she leaves in a little while here, but before she does, she's talking to Fox 2 about how she's getting ready. We're talking about dun, da, 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 Rima Faki, Miss Michigan, right here from Dearborn, Michigan, right down the road from Southfield. How are you doing? Not far. I'm doing very good. Thank Welcome. you so much. Thank I was you. just asking if you're used to getting up this early yes. in the morning. <laughs> but you say since she became Miss Michigan, it's uh, There are no day. weekends for me anymore. Right. I wow. can't say thank God for Friday. I could just say, oh my God, I still got to wake up early. <laughs> Your crown is so sparkly. It's thank such you. a sparkly yeah. crown. So, so let me ask you a question. So the Miss USA pageant yes. is a little different than other pageants because you don't have to do a talent, right? You just no. have to, you do uh, evening gown, and swimwear, right? Well, Not to say she up. doesn't have talent. Oh, I'm sure you have talent. I'm sure you have yes. talent. Multi-talented. Okay. Right, right. I think my talent would probably be stand-up comedy, maybe. If oh. I can kidding. do a little stand-up. We can get you over at my Well, I can't release. sing, and I'm, I mean, I, I do a lot of dancing, but I don't know about performing it in front of millions of people. But we start off with the opening number, mm -hmm. and then we go on to doing a bathing suit, then evening gown. Okay. Uh, however, when people watch us live on May 16, they don't know that the top 15 is already chosen from the preliminary shows. Oh, and, I see. Uh, Miss USA is the one that continues on to go to Miss Universe. Miss Universe, so yeah. That is huge. Bring home the crown. You know? That is huge. Now, when you look at, I mean, I, I don't know whether or not you grew up doing pageants, because I used to MC the, the Miss Troy pageants, and a lot of those people would move on. It's just like this. It's me. very similar, <laughs> similar but different. But no, but a lot of the girls that I, I talked to who I went to high school with, they would say, I never thought, I'm, I'm not a pageant girl. Yes. Not a pageant type. Mm -hmm. How about you? I'm not. <laughs> really? I'm not a pageant type. Matter of fact, actually, I was uh, growing up uh, a tomboy. Mm -hmm. My mom was the one that always wanted me to be a cheerleader, or I was like, come on, Rima, how about gymnastics? You know, and my dad was like, if you have a daughter that's an MVP in volleyball and basketball and softball and plays football with right. boys on the weekend. Wow. So right. honestly, I got into pageants more for the scholarship opportunity because uh, I did double major and I had to pay a lot for school loans. So I thought it would be a great opportunity to do a pageant. My first one was in actually 2005, and then I did two more in 08. And Miss Michigan was my third one and my lucky one. <laughs> All right. So, so when when pageant world wraps up, what, what would you like to do as your career? Honestly, my plan was uh, I graduated in the winter of 2008, mm -hmm. and that's when I applied for Miss Michigan. But I was continuing on t uh, to law school. When I won my crown, not that I didn't have faith in myself or anything, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Good for you. But I postponed law school for after Miss USA. Right. Miss okay. Let me ask you this. Okay, so the when you get up on stage and there's all those people, you mentioned millions. You know, you hear the word millions, and if you're not used to doing this, and you're, you know, a kid growing up in Dearborn, boom into the spotlight, yes. mm -hmm. right? And the yes. whole nation's watching. Do you understand what that girl went through, the one who messed up when Ms. she was... Miss California. Miss California. Remember Everybody when, knows her right away. Oh, you mean right. Miss California? Oh, that one, one, yes. <laughs> but Before you, that, I was like, oh, Miss South Carolina. Oh. But do you know, you know when she sat there saying, we need to do more for the world and people in, in, in Africa? And, oh, that was and, tough and, to and watch. That was Miss South Carolina. What, yeah. what now... Is, can you, do you kind of sit back and say, oh, I feel badly for her because it is that hard? I really think it's stage fright. Sure. Meeting um, the director of Miss South Carolina and meeting the director of Miss California as well as Miss California 2010, Nicole, I realize it's all stage fright. If you really look at Miss California, she actually answered the question correctly because she gave a fact than her opinion. Right. Right. However, it wasn't fair to everyone. You should be more open-minded. So therefore, it went as a negative uh, image. However, Miss USA always promotes f for every contestant to be up on the news, make sure we read the newspaper, make sure we know what's going on, our current events, our history of our state. So they really promote, they want to make sure that every contestant is well-educated. However, when you get up on that stage, everything it changes. It's sometimes. like, hey, there's a lot of people watching, no pressure. Go right, ahead. right. <laughs> it's had, look, it's happened to people. I've been live on television before, and I, you lose your train of thought, mm -hmm. and you sit back and you get embarrassed, and then you have no one watching. Mm -hmm. Right. Rima, Faki, good luck to Thank you, Miss you so Michigan. Much. Yeah, win this, okay? We, oh, need, we uh, need it. Then you we can say what? we knew you won. I'm bringing it home. All right. <laughs>